So, what happens after you flush the toilet? Fresh water from the toilet tank flows down emptying the bowl. The wastewater flows down through a sanitary pipe connected to the toilet. The wastewater continues to flow to the exterior of the house into an underground sanitary pipe. All of wastewater in your home including sinks, dishwashers and washing machines will flow to this buried main sanitary pipe. The main sanitary pipe buried on the exterior of your home or dwelling will eventually connect to a septic tank, sanitary catch basin or manhole with a sump at the bottom. For the purpose of this video, we'll focus on a public sanitary system. All of the solid waste exiting your home will be broken down further through mechanical and hydraulic action of sloshing through the pipes becoming a more fluid state. As the wastewater mixes with other sources of flowing water without solid waste such as sinks, showers or bathtubs, it develops a very fluid state. The hydraulic action of flowing and dropping down into the catch basin sump continues to further break down the solid waste. You may have seen round metal lids of catch basins on streets and lawns, these are manhole access points to enter these underground structures. The sump of a catch basin can collect material that has been flushed down toilets that cannot be broken down organically by the naturally occurring bacteria that live in sanitary systems. Materials such as plastics must be periodically cleaned from the bottom of these catch basin sumps in order for them to flow and divert waste water properly. The catch basin will temporarily hold, mix and then divert the waste water into a larger pipe where it will flow, and eventually reach a waste water treatment plant. After the waste water is treated at the plant, it will be released back into the environment for the cycle to start all over again. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content like this.